Hey guys, in this video we're going to be testing this wire right here. It's an 8AWG silicone wrapped wire. We're going to be pushing about 115 to 120 amps through it and we're going to see how it does. Alright, so to start we'll cover the backstory of why we're doing this test and then I'll kind of go over the setup and then finally we will actually do the test. It shouldn't take but about 20 minutes and with the use of some movie magic we'll, we'll jump through it so we can get over this pretty quickly. So first of all, the setup. Uh, or the, I'm sorry, the backstory. So we were cutting open that battery back there and pulling one of these two units out of, out of that battery. And on the back side, we had uh, connected to the terminal post was an 8AWG silicone wrapped wire. And I made the comment on there that some people may question pulling 100 amps across an 8AWG wire because typically the PVC jacketed versions of these cables are only rated for about 50 amps. So these, however, are rated for 200 amps. Um, because the reason why, and I showed this in the other video, if you cut these open, you'll see about 1,650 strands of copper inside of here. And so that high density copper stranding uh, gives it the ability to carry more amps. The silicone wrapping means it can hold higher heat. So they're rated up to 200 degrees Celsius as well, which is just a few degrees shy, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's if you're running them at full capacity. So that's kind of the backstory um, on, on what we're doing here. We're going to test this up to about 115 to 120 amps and only because that's about as much as I can get out of this Krieger 1500 watt inverter um, before it goes into shutdown mode and also because our batteries are limited through the BMS to not go over 110 amps. If they go over 110 amps for greater than 10 seconds they cut off for 32 seconds. If you go over 190 amps for even an instant the BMS will shut down the battery to protect itself so you'll never ever be able to go over 190 amps on these cables um, and even then that would only be for a, a second. You could do like 180 amps for 10 seconds, but then the BMS is gonna protect it and cut off. So these cables are more than, are perfectly adequate, more than adequate for this application. And that's what we're gonna show here today. So for the setup, I got the wire from the other battery. So this is the same cable, uh, 8AWG uh, copper with silicone wrapping and it's the six, 1,650 strands of wire. Um, this is going to be the bottleneck. So to get to here, we have two separate batteries, and we have to use two because, again, if either one of these go over 110 for more than a few seconds, uh, the BMS will shut it off. So we put two batteries together in parallel. They join here. Uh, we just got them held together with a bolt, and then they come down to the one wire for the positive side. Back into the two-watt uh, cable, which is connected, or two-slash-zero uh, two cable coming over here to the inverter. Uh, there's also a hall sensor here, so we'll be able to see the actual amperage and wattage coming through the wire on this end. Uh, and then the negative terminals, uh, the negative goes through the BMS and then out to the other side. They're jumpered on the other side, connected to another wire to the back of the Krieger. Through the Krieger, uh, we got, we've used this before in another video. We have a space heater that'll pull about 90 amps, and then we'll get up the, the extra 20 amps we need through the heat gun we got here. So that's basically the setup. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the test started. Uh, oh, one more thing I should note. We have just a simple $10 from Harbor Freight uh, temperature checker here, and we're gonna use that. So to start with, uh, we're sitting at about 82 degrees on the cable, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And we said the max was 390, 397, I believe is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, with that, we'll go ahead and get, it, get this started. Go ahead and click this on. You see the clock's running right now. It's at about 55 minutes. That's just how long that I've had this hooked up. So just, just a note, it's at 55 minutes right now. So we'll see how long we end up running this for. So we're at 111, 110. And on the watts, we're doing 1,200 watts, 1,300. So we've settled out right now about 13. I can go one more level on here. I'm hoping not to kill the, the Krieger because it's happened before. There we go. I think that's going to work well. So we have 1.35 kilowatts or 1,340 kilo, 1,340 watts. And we're sitting right about 115 amps. If I go, if I were to take this any higher, uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna, this is going to shut down on me. I'm, We'll take another temperature check. We're only about two minutes in. And 
so you can see that. So it's at about 130. The highest I can read on it is 170. The 170. Okay, so we're about five minutes in. The timer's now at one hour, which we started at 55. So I'll take another reading. We're about the highest I can get is two. 207. about 207 so this is doing something wonky that's this though yeah too much so this just overheated and shut down yeah. so that was this overheating and shutting down the Krieger the cable could handle the batteries could handle it but the Krieger had some issues there so uh, we'll have to dial that back a little bit. 85, we'll go ahead and kick on the heater again. Start in the middle of the road on this. Let's see if we get it up to 110. Alright, so we're back up to about 110. We've been going for about 7 minutes now. It's pretty hot. You can't hold it. You can touch it for a second, but you definitely can't hold it. Uh, with that phase out, we've dropped to... Uh, let's see, 180-ish. 180, 180-ish. All right, so we just hit 10 minutes. Let's see what we got. Let me take another reading. The highest I'm seeing now, we dialed it back just five amps, and the highest we're seeing now is about 194, I just 197. 197 degrees, about the highest I can see. Okay, guys, we are at one hour and 10 minutes uh, on the timer, which means we've been running for about 15 minutes now. So it's still the highest I'm able to get on here. Is one, let's see, 170, 179, 188. So 188 is about the highest I can see now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and kill it because it's that's the highest we've seen for the last five minutes. It's not going to get any higher. Um, seems like it got there after about 10 minutes. All right, guys, that's basically it for this video. Uh, the cable, which we which goes in a 100 amp capacity battery, uh, held 110 amps for an extended period. Uh, and the temperature maxed out at about 115 degrees, I'm sorry, 190 degrees Fahrenheit, which is roughly half the rated capacity temperature-wise for this, this wire. So it handled the amps, it handled the temperature, the wire was a great success, uh, everything was good and checked across the board. So, the next video I'm doing, I'm going to clear all this out of here, we're going to pull up a brand new battery, we're going to connect to the Bluetooth, and I'm going to go through every page, every setting in that Bluetooth. It's going to be a little bit technical, a little bit boring, but if you're considering these batteries, it's, it's definitely worth watching. So Go ahead and click that subscribe button. You'll get notified. If you also hit the bell icon, you'll get notified when we release those videos. And then give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel. If you got questions or comments, post those down below and uh, I'll do what I can to answer them. If you have any, if you think of anything that may be better for another setup we can do, another test we can do, please, by all means, post it below and I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.